Lee, I've been uh, asking you for at least a week or two to come on, and you didn't want to do that at first. You were kind of waiting to see how things played out. You wanted to wait until you actually had something to say. So what are you thinking based on what we've seen, the crazy swings over the last several weeks? Well, I would say this is the eighth recession-induced bear market I've lived through. This is different than the ones in the past, as it's a combination of a financial crisis, oil price collapse, and, of course, the coronavirus, which has caused a broad-scale shutdown of the economy. And this occurred at a time when the stock market was expensive by any historical standard. And if you study, it's very important to understand history. If you study past cycles, you find the following. On average, a bear market decline is about 25 percent. This one, I guess, peak to trough so far has been down about 35 percent. So not terribly out of line, but, you know, down 25 percent typically. The decline lasts about a year, which is about how long a recession lasts. GDP contracts about 2 percent. Earnings drop close to 15 to 20 percent. And importantly, this is important, importantly, the market on average bottoms out three months before the recession ends. The stock market leads the economy. I think what happens from here is a function of your view of how the coronavirus plays out. Call me an uninformed optimist. Uh, I keep telling people, you know, I don't have a medical degree. I have two PhDs, but they're both honorary. But if, uh, if I'm right on the virus call, if I'm right, and that's the big if, I have no particular expertise, I think the market at the recent low of 2187 was close enough to the bottom to be called the bottom. If the economic shutdown goes beyond April into the third quarter, I will be less optimistic. On the virus, uh, my general view is with the world focusing on a problem, governments, you know, corporations, independent scientists, when the world, this is worldwide, is focusing on a problem, it will be solved quicker than most people think. I'm guessing June, but that is a pure guess. I think we all have to put this into perspective. While the loss of any human life is tragic, the coronavirus has had much more serious impact on business activity than on human life thus far. And let's hope and pray that it continues that way. And I want to cite some statistics. During the last year's flu season, 2018-2019, there were 35.5 million flu cases, 34,200 deaths. In the 17-18 flu season, there were 45 million cases, 61,000 deaths. And in the 16-17 season, there were 29 million cases, 38,000 deaths. It is bewildering to me, not bewildering, I guess, it's, it, it's, it's interesting to me that people react so strongly to every new coronavirus development. My point is only to show that the fear factor has exploded in the United States, and thankfully, it's a different number this morning, or probably. As of yesterday afternoon, there are approximately 82,000 people in the United States and the three U.S. territories who have tested positive and approximately 1,290 deaths, um, which is tragic, but, you know, very, very, very small relative to the past flu seasons.